After editing, now it's time to conform our picture log coming from editorial using AAF or XML files and link our editorial timeline with our high res files and join them with the metadata and the color information we set during the daily process. This metadata comes from editorial in a form of an EDL CDL and we should also use the CSV we originally exported. Maybe you had several CSV from different days. One thing you can do is merging all of them CSVs into one. That way you will only need to perform one import to your media pool. Currently we cannot merge the CSVs in Resolve, but there are several online tools that will allow you to merge CSVs into one. Here I am in a DaVinci Resolve project with the same settings we set in our dailies project. If you want to remember these settings, check the first part of the Color Run Trip series. It is mandatory to have the same configuration. In case you don't have it, our conform workflow will not work. With this configuration, we can conform our timeline coming from editorial. Let's select file, import timeline, then search for our XML coming from editorial. In the pop-up window, hit OK, and you will see our timeline conform. Now we will import the metadata information we input to our clips in dailies. This will help the online editor to filter the clips to apply the correct looks on and will help the colorist to organize his grade based on the metadata. Also, it is important to set up correctly your IDT per clips. If you want to know more about this configuration, click this link. Let's move to the media page. Open the file menu at the top of the interface and select import metadata to media pool. In the finder window, we are going to select the CSV and click open to match with the files imported in the media pool. In our case, we will leave the settings as it is. This may be different on your workflow. Please select the best option for your project. Click OK. As you notice, we have a new pop-up window saying the number of successful matches we have. We can verify this by selecting some of our imported clips and seeing the metadata menu, some of the fields populated. To continue with the process, we need to import our color information from CDL EDL coming from the editorial. To accomplish this purpose, we are going to use the color trace. This feature in Resolve enables the transfer of grading information from one timeline to another or from an EDL. In our case, the CDLs are coming from an EDL that Editorial is providing. If it finds a match, it will apply the corresponding CDL indicated in the EDL. There are color codes that color trace will signal every clip. With that, will let us know the status of the matching. Red means no match was found. Blue, multiple potential matches were found, and green, a match was found. Here we only need to review, confirm, or deny that our timeline matches are accurate. We are going to select the timeline file in the media pool. Right click on it, then select color trace, and choose the option color trace from CDL. In the pop up window, we will go to the online folder and we will find our CDL EDL file. Select it and click open. A new dialog will show. Since the CDL are containing the EDL, we don't need to import a CCC, so we will hit cancel. This is the color trace menu. Ideally, all clips will show up green and no extra steps need to be taken. If the EDL has real information and our project is configured to have the same real information as the one written in the editorial file, together with the timecode, it will automatically assign the correct CDL values to the corresponding clip and the CDL will be transferred the timeline clip instantaneously, like in our example where we have all of our clips green. If you have conflict, the bottom of the interface provides additional information and control. To the left is a table that compares the metadata of the source and target clips. And to the right is a list of criteria that will be transferred to the clips. Hit the option Hide Matching Clips to review any possible conflicts. 
If there are any, you can click on each clip and in the table below the clip thumbnails, you will be able to compare your clip with the metadata required on the EDL. Frequently, if all processes have been properly done, it will work out of the box. It just needs confirmation. Hit copy grades and exit. And move to the color page. On the first note of each clip, we have the CDL values that were saved on the EDL. The CDL values are the same one we wrote during dailies. How great is that? Finally, to complete the conform process, we need to add our look to the project to start refining the grade. In this video, we will showcase how to apply looks in two different use cases. The first one is when there is only one look for the whole project. The second one is where there are several looks depending on the scene. The whole point of this step is to reconstruct the look we left on the dailies process. On this example, only one look was used during dailies, so we will apply this look in the timeline module, so that it is applied to every clip in our timeline. Let's go to the top right, and in the drop down menu, switch from clip to timeline. As you notice, we don't have any nodes. Let's make one with the shortcut Alt-S. Now we have a new node with a blue edge. This is a good graphic convention for us to know that we are in a timeline node structure. In this node, we need to import our look lat. This can be a lat, but since we are doing all our workflow in Resolve, we can import a DRX from the dailies process. Let's move to the gallery. Right click and select import. Then apply it to the node timeline. As you notice, this timeline node affects all the clips in our timeline. Importing a DRX instead of a LUT allows the colorist to modify the parameters previously made in the look of the show. With the show look in the whole project and with CDLs in each of the clips, we need to do a visual check to verify that the color was added properly in each one of the clips so that we can recreate the color done during the dailies process. For this purpose, we are going to move to the edit page. Then, in the media pool, we are going to see a sub bin called reference, and a clip that we are going to use in our visual QC. Let's select in the source viewer in the drop down tool menu at the left button, the offline option. This will allow us to have our reference video in the source viewer synced with our timeline. Then, in the gray window, drag our reference clip. And as you can see, the source viewer is ganked with the record viewer. We recommend you to do a spot check at the beginning, middle, and end of the timeline. Let's try our second workflow. Sometimes a single show look is not enough to cover all locations and scenes. For that reason, we can have different show looks for different locations or scenes. To add the correct one to our clips, we are going to filter the clips in our timeline, based on the metadata imported before in our project. Then, we are going to group them using the group option in Resolve, and we will add our look to the node tree. Here I have another timeline with the imported CDRs from the daily lab, and we are ready to import our show looks per scene. Let's start with filtering our timeline based on the clips metadata. On the color page, open the Lightbox view at the top right of the interface. The Lightbox shows you all clips in the timeline as thumbnails. It lets you quickly evaluate, search, and filter the clips of your timeline. The Lightbox is the perfect tool for our purposes. In the left bottom part of the interface, right click below User Smart Filter and select Create a Smart Filter. Here we need to write a name for this filter. Let's use the look name, then select metadata tech details in the first drop down menu from left to right. Then in the middle drop down menu, select the field where we wrote all the look name metadata. In this case, we use lat1. You can also check on the CSV if you don't remember. We are going to leave contain as is, and in the name, we are going to write bleach blue. And immediately the Lightbox filter the clips based on the parameters we defined it. Let's do the same procedure to filter the clips for another look. 
right click below create smart filters and in the name write Desat Aerial. Then Metadata Tech Details. Search for LAT1 and in the name write the name of the look. This way we have our second smart filter defined it in order to surface clips that use that LAT. You can repeat this process as many times as you need depending on how many looks you use on the project. After creating the filters, we will sort our timeline based on them to apply each look to the filter clips. Our problem now is that if we add the look to the timeline module as we did before, it will affect the whole timeline and it won't matter that we have different filters. For that reason, we need to add the resulting clips from each filter into different groups. Let's open the custom filter menu in the light box. Then select the smart filter and then Command A to select all clips inside it. Now, right click and select add into new group. We can name it as the name of the look lot. Let's do the same with the second filter. Click in the second smart filter we created and select all clips and right click, then add into a new group and as a name write this ad aerial. Let's do the same with the third filter. With the clips filtering groups, let's move to the color page by clicking again on the light box icon. Here in the drop down menu at the top right of the interface next to clips, you can find the group option to show the clips of the desired group. In our case, let's select the group Bleach Blue. As you notice, we just see the clips from that group. Then we are going to use the sub level of the groups to add our look. At the top right of the node window, open the drop down menu to see the different node modules. In here, we are going to select post clip, since that is a step between the clip and the timeline module. When we click on it, we will have a new node with a yellow edge. This is a good graphic convention for us to know that we are in a post group module. In this node, we need to import our look lat. As we know, we can apply either a lat or a DRX. The DRX is preferred. Let's move to the gallery, right click and select import. Then in the finder, select the DRX corresponding for that look lat and apply it to the post clip node. As you notice, this post clip node affects all clips in the group. You can do the same with the second group we created. With the look lat in different scenes of the project and with CDLs in each one of the clips, the colorist can start grading. As a tip, if your project is full of metadata, we can speed up your grading process by creating smart filters for the clip based on place, people, camera or light condition. This will save you a lot of time. Also, because our workflow was seen refer using a framework like ACES, we can have interoperability with different software and communicate this color information to other departments and vendors. If you want to learn more about how to create deliverables from an ACES project, click this link. In these videos, we cover the basics of a full color run trip. We start with explaining how to develop a look lot and different methods to create and load the looks back in our conformed timeline. We cover the basics of the daily processes and provided insight on how to accomplish color managed workflows in Resolve. Hopefully this video has provided enough context on creating dailies, adding metadata and working with CDLs in different post-production stages. Thanks for watching.